Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have spoilers number one and number two for the All True Spring 2022 box to share with you. So this is going to be spoiler number two. I am uploading right now spoiler number one. I kept them separate. I apologize that my computer sounds like it's going to go into outer space but this is just what we have to deal with today. Um, so a couple of disclaimers. Yes, I am also just a regular consumer of All True like you. Um, so I am aware that the shipping does take a long time aka I am waiting for my Black Friday box it did ship a couple of days ago um, but just letting you know that the other thing is that I am also just a seasonal member and I do typically just wait to see if I like the spoilers and things like that so that being said the billing date is tomorrow March 1st so make sure you're on top of your account to know whether or not you want to skip or um, kind of pause your account that sort of thing um, also if you are a seasonal member like me you're not able to customize so that just means that for me myself when I do these spoiler videos I do make um, a value judgment about whether or not I'm going to be happy with the majority of the items in each of the categories. Um, also as a FYI, I am kind of liking both of these spoilers so far, um, but just telling you that. Um, but if you are interested in picking up a subscription, I do have a $10 off link below. That's a personal referral link. I'll get a small kickback for referring you, but I am not sponsored by All True at all. I am just sharing that with you so you can get $10 off your first box. Okay, so jumping into it right away, let me go in to the spoiler. So the way I do my spoiler videos is I do a little bit of additional research just to show you any information I'm able to find on the internet that's publicly available, that sort of thing. Okay, so spoiler number two. So it says, decisions, decisions, which will you choose to include in your spring box and which will you add on? So let's just go in here. So the first item is the Crinkle Cotton Blood sorry, Cotton Bed Blanket by Sembla. Um, just so that I can give you the info before you click away because my videos do get quite long because I do a lot of research. They did post the information about what size this is, so I'll give you that in a little bit. So it says, bringing a pop of natural color and dreamy texture to your space, this throw blanket is equal parts pretty and practical. Drape it over your couch or a bedding to add an airy elevated accent made by a female-led artisan team using 100% cotton and low impact dyes it was woven in looms in a small family run family run weaving community where traditional techniques are preserved so this is sustainable and artisan led so it looks like actually on their other photo that i'll show you a little bit later in the video there are two different colors so it's kind of like that um gray blue color like a denim blue color and then the other one is kind of that dusty orange <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good at describing colors. Um, so as I promised, there is um, some dimensions. It is a full-size blanket, so 60 inches by 72 inches. And then um, leave a comment below if there are any additional questions you want me to ask, because I love talking to customer service, actually. Um, so... Yes, so my number one question is if it's able to be washed and dried. Somebody did ask it, but All True has not answered their question yet. This hasn't been up that long, so that might be why. The next item is the Bowtie Bucket Bag by Kayla and Ava, or Kayla plus Ava. I don't know how to say this brand name. So this is a casual silhouette elevated with all the right details made from a water-based vegan leather, aka plastic, that feels just like the real thing. Pick this bucket bag for business, brunch, and everything in between. The feminine yet neutral dusty rose hue goes with just about everything. Other reasons to love include... Other reasons to love, in sorry, they need an editor and also a person who's good at punctuation. Other reasons to love include the durable material, cinched top closure, and adjustable strap. Um, so it does look like they have a lot of metal detailing on here that you can make the strap a different size. Um, and it does look like the it has a cincher, but I think you have to, like if you make it skinny, you have to retie it. This is an FYI. Um, there are some other photos that I can share with you a little bit later. The next one is the natural handwoven tray by Crafted by Kalara. 
Um, that was hard to read there. An earthy decorative piece we can't get enough of. Create your own coffee table centerpiece. Deliver breakfast in bed or pull together an Instagram worthy fruit bowl for your kitchen countertop. Crafted from using traditional braiding techniques by an all woman artisan team, the braided banana. Braided banana bark is a sustainable pick and adds a textured accent to your home decor. Sustainable, artisan-made, and female-led. So I would say, not necessarily sure if I would trust it to deliver breakfast in bed because I like to drink beverages like, you know, coffee or something because I don't think it has a reinforced bottom, so it would be kind of like flopping around in there. But it looks like it's pretty big considering all of the fruits they have in here. So they have like a mango, a couple of grapefruits it looks like, a couple of oranges an avocado, a couple of lemons, and it looks pretty big. Um, so let me see if I can pull up the info before you go. So they did put in the dimensions. So it's 13 inches by 13 inches by 2 inches. And again, I'll show you some more information that I was able to find about this brand and things like that. So the next item is the Large Hydration Jug by Asobu. Um, so actually, I have bought something from Asobu on the um, All True Marketplace, which is honestly one of the benefits I guess of using the all true subscription um, I bought the pour over coffee maker so drinking more water using less single-use plastic this oversized water bottle is helping us achieve more than one of our resolutions fill it up with 50 ounces at the beginning of the day and it'll probably get you from nine to five and then some a great choice for long hikes a zoom meeting marathons road trips poolside hangs you get the idea and it is sustainable so i don't know if i would take this on a road trip because i would have to stop all the time um, but it is dishwasher safe and it's made from bpa free Ecos and plastic. Those are two questions people did ask in the other post so that I would give it to you here. The next item is the 10 inch double handled Venus pan from Brooklyn Steel Co. So it says this double handled pan is a favorite among keen chefs and reluctant cooks alike. With a sleek design and a just right size, the multi-layered ceramic coating and aluminum core deliver up optimum conductivity for fast cooking and temperature distribution. Plus, its non-stick material makes an easy cleanup. Yes, even if you're scrambling eggs for a slow Sunday breakfast or a weekly meal prep. Um, so this is oven safe until up until 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Somebody did ask. And from the comments, it is also hand wash only. So FYI about that. My guess is because it is non-stick, but I'm not a huge cook. And then... Let's see. Um, people are asking about if it's induction. Some people say that you might be able to use it as induction, and then some other people say that it's not available for induction. So again, leave a comment below if you do want me to ask about that. I don't know anything about induction because I have a gas stove. And also people are saying that it does not come with a lid. So I'm not able to confirm that, but from the photos, I have not seen it with a lid. So I'm just letting you know that. Okay, so that is the final one in the spoiler number two. So again, I'm gonna go through what I was able to find for you. So let me just open it. So this one is those blankets. So it says the crinkle cotton bed blanket. So this one is curated from soft and sustainably sourced cotton. This lightweight and linen inspired throw is available in two tones, ocean and desert. Drape it over the couch or bread sp bedspread to add a touch of texture and airy accent or some layering love to the home. Excitingly, this cut crinkle cotton blanket marks our very first Sembla product, All True's newest in-house artisan made brand. Um, for almost a decade, we've been growing alongside artisan communities to create thoughtful collections that support makers around the world, providing meaningful and sustainable income effort opportunities through global market. In an effort to deepen our commitment to preserving handmade processes, we've spent the last year establishing an in-house label that will greatly increase the level of impact we're able to have on artisan communities worldwide. Oh man, this is long. <laughs> so this is why I couldn't find any info about the brand, and I had some assumptions based upon what I pulled up, but let me just keep going. So it is, I'm going to just try to kind of go through it quickly. Female-led artisan cooperatives, 
creating advantages for women and disadvantaged workers, collaborative process. So this is made by a female-led artisan team in India where it was woven on looms in a small family-run weaving community. Over 120 artisans were employed through this production. So let me go through here to show you some more. Um, so it does have like a interesting weave, I guess, pattern in it. Um, and then it looks actually pretty thin, which is, makes sense, I guess, for spring slash summer by the time we might receive this box. Um, but this is a little bit better photo of what the blue looks like. So it does look like a denim blue kind of color. So again, I did mention that I had assumed that it was an in-house brand because it only has three posts on here. And then um, the only thing that following is all true. So yeah. So I did pull it up from the website. And again, based on the color themes and also the font, I'm such a nerd, the font and the color themes made it look very all true-esque to me. So that's why I had assumed it was all true. And again, the um, size is a full blanket size. Okay, so this is the next one. This is the natural handwoven tray. And it is a decorative tray handwoven from 100% banana bark and crafted using traditional braiding techniques by an all-woman artisan team in India. It's a neutral tan color and minimalist design, make it a natural addition to any room of the home. Craft your own coffee table. Okay, they had that already. Crafted by Kalara is on a mission to bring transparency and equity to the global artisan supply chain. They offer unique products that marry centuries of old, um, so it's like centuries old Indian craftsmanship with an inherent consideration for the environment and contemporary living needs around the world. Banana bark tray was made entirely by female artisans, many from whom, many of whom have been rehabilitated from industries involving hazardous working conditions like matchstick and fireworks manufacturing. I don't know if rehabilitated is the right word. <laughs> The artisans have seen a 60% increase in their incomes since they started making handcrafted pr products from natural fibers like banana bark, and they are a climate positive organization by helping to reduce our carbon footprint. So this is what the texture looks like. It does have handles in here. Another view of the handles. So that is the info. Um, so I did look on the website, so it's kalara.com, and it does look like it is a wholesale sort of process place. <laughs> um, so it's wholesale and private label, um, just as an FYI. It does look like they have a, quite a few items in here. Um, so that is all I was able to find. I wasn't able to find the exact tray that All True selected, so I'm just letting you know that this is what I found. The next item is that water bottle. So it says drinking more water using less single use plastic. This hydration jug will help you achieve more than one of your resolutions. Um, let's see, holding up to 50 ounces was designed to be filled twice a day to help you effortlessly meet your hydration goals. Um, so there is a straw and it's clear. Um, so I'm interested to see what the straw looks like actually. <laughs> A sobu comes from the Japanese word for game or fun, which says a lot about their approach to design, which holds fun just as high in the ranking as functional. Founded in 98, this brand creates products for an active urban lifestyle that inspire people to embrace a zero waste mentality without compromising style and performance. Um, so this is what the straw looks like. Oh, okay, so I see it. It goes down here. Um, so it's not quite as sexy when they have it. And there's stylized model photos to have a straw in it, but I get it. Um, this is what it looks like. So it looks like it's pretty good. And then the straw will get hidden in the lid up there. Um, it does have um, some metal components on the side here for the handle. And the handle looks like it's, um, you know, like the plastic you make pl kids play shovels out of. That's what it looks like. Slightly um, more of a matte finish, not like the shiny plastic. And then this is a little bit more. I wish I could. Oh, okay. I was like, I wish I could see what that thing is. Yeah, it's the bottle. <laughs> they just put it on white, so it's hard to see. And then this is the straw here. So that is the info. So let me pull up the website. So um, I did pull up the website. I looked on the reusable bottles, and I don't know. I just can't find it in here, the one particular one. It does look somewhat similar to this dog bowl one, um, but it's not exactly the same. 
Um, so let me show you. So I also clicked open this Mighty Jug one. That one's like a hundred some, no, the Jumbo Jug is like a hundred something ounces of water, which is like way too much for me personally. Um, but yes, I couldn't find the exact same item unless it's this juggler. I didn't even notice this one before. So let me open it. Hopefully this is the same product. Yeah. Okay. So the juggler is the 50 ounce Triton water jug. So let's see if the green one looks similar. Okay, so it's not exactly the same, actually, um, because right here is what the juggler straw looks like, which is not the same. Um, so that's all I was able to find for you, I guess. So it does say it's shock and scratch resistant, but again, I'm not entirely sure if this is the same product. Um, easy to hold handle, dishwasher safe, made from um, BPA plastic, BPA free plastic, sorry. Anyway. So that was what I was able to find. Moving on. So this is the Kayla and Ava bow tie bucket bag. So it is a darling dusty rose bucket bag. Has a casual silhouette that's elevated with all the right details. And a feminine yet neutral hue. This staple bucket bag goes with just about everything. Made from 100% water based vegan leather with a cinch top closure and adjustable strap. Oh, that's exactly what they wrote in before. Um, so they believe in cruelty-free fashion, committed to offering the best vegan handbags using high-quality PU, I think that's polyurethane, leather, and expert-level craftsmanship. Sorry, there's a police car. Um, so it does look like the stitching is pretty good on this, actually, compared to some of the other bags that are, like, the vegan leather bags. Um, especially since they put the detail, like, the stitching detail on the... I mean, it's just, like, decorative on the... Um, tie, but I think that's a nice detail. Um, it does look like it has like punched through here. Personally, I wish they would have put like rivets or something in there, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so keep going through. Um, so this does look like it is metal here for the adjustable strap. And let me keep going in. So the inside actually has like a suede texture, which is kind of nice. And then it looks like it is less like literally one big sack. It doesn't look, sorry, that was a gross way of saying it. Um, but it doesn't look like it has like a little pouch or anything in there, you know, like to put like your keys or your credit card, easy reach sort of thing. Um, or like a tampon or something. I don't know. But it doesn't look like it has additional pouches in there either. Um, so I did look on the Kayla and Ava website and I wasn't able to find... Um, a similar bag actually so it does look like they have a ton of cute bags I guess um, none of them are exactly my style but um, they do have quite a few and they all look like to be reasonably priced if you're into vegan leather I guess like they're under $60 it looks like this is the closest thing to a bucket bag I did do control F bucket um, $42 for this Kirby iridescent one um, but just thought I would show you what I was able to find Okay, this is the final item for the second spoiler. So this is the 10-inch dual-handled Venus pan from Brooklyn Steel Co. Um, and then this double-handled handled pan is a favorite among keen chefs. Okay, they had that already before. Um, Non-stick and sustainable with sleek design, a speckled Pantone blue color. So tell me again if you're a color expert. Aren't all colors technically like Pantone colors? <laughs> at one point or another and just right size the multi-layered ceramic coating and aluminum core deliver optimum conductivity for fast cooking and even temperature distribution plus it's non-stick material okay they had that same thing in their other spoiler so i do wish that they would have given you the info about whether or not it is um able to be used on induction but it does say it is hand wash only if you are curious about that. And then um, oven safe up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me scroll through here. Um, so just have a little bit of a textured bottom. So again, if you have an induction, let me know if that means that it doesn't work on induction. From what I've seen about people who have inductions, it's usually flat bottoms, but I don't know because I don't have one because I'm not fancy enough. Um, it does look like it's pretty well constructed actually on the sides here, um, but just definitely make sure you use a pot holder. <laughs> uh, I've done it before where I forget that I only have, um, yeah, 
anyway um it looks like it's pretty nice actually so i did do a little bit of extra research so i did find that it is like a real brand you can buy it at like the mid-tier department stores like macy's i also saw it at kohl's um places like that but it does not appear to be um like they don't appear to have a double-sided pan like they're selling at the altru um in their other things but it does look like it's a pretty legitimate brand and things like that this one looks like a maybe similar color almost no it's this one's a little bit grayer um but it does look like they have a lot of items in here this one is lunar eclipse that one's kind of a ombre effect I'm trying to be cool with these uh descriptions um but it does have quite a few options and they are on sale right now if you're interested <laughs> at uh, macy's um, so this is what I was able to find. So, again, leave a comment below if you did like anything in this spoiler number two. Let me know what you're going to choose if you are going to go on, that sort of thing for the all true. Um, so, so far I do like the items in the spoilers one and two. So we'll see here if spoiler number three blows me away as well. Um, because typically when I find three items that I enjoy, I do end up picking up the box but um that's just a personal decision here um but i would say if you do want to know my strategies leave a comment below and maybe i'll do another video else i'll just reply to you um but i will be making videos as soon as i see that they have spoilers coming out because i didn't know they even had spoilers out until um somebody messaged me on instagram so thank you again for watching and i will see you again soon bye